So first of all, we need techniques to find out what is truly original that only you can come up with. And that automatically sets you apart from everybody else. But then having done that, you need techniques for extending the story from one line to 120 pages. And in the premise chapter, there are a lot of techniques for doing this. The most important one is to find the character change that is embedded in your high concept. It will be there. Because that character change is the foundation of the entire script. Now the next technique I want to talk about has to do with the seven major story structure steps. This is chapter three of the book. These seven steps are the seven major stages that every story moves through. Whether it's a screenplay, a novel, even a 30 second commercial. If it's a good commercial, it will work through those seven stages. Now automatically right here, seven steps is very different and much more powerful than three act. As I mentioned, three act is an imprint from the outside that's layered on top of the story. Seven steps on the other hand are in the story. They are organic. They are in your story right now. And the first thing I would do when we're done is go back and find the seven steps in your story. Pull them out, make them say what you want because these are the anchor steps of the entire script. If you get them right, the script will work. That's how important they are. If you don't, it will fail. Now the second of the seven steps is the desire line. The desire line is simply what your hero wants in the story. It's your hero's specific goal. And this step is extremely important, not just because it happens right near the beginning. So in that sense, the story is in many ways founded on it. It also provides the spine of the story. The entire script will hang on this one step, the desire line. So you've got to get the spine. Hollywood films put tremendous emphasis on the desire line. They start with a single main character, they give them a very specific goal, and they have the character go after that goal with tremendous speed and relentless energy. This is the story shape known as the linear story, because that is clearly what that desire line is doing. It's a linear shape, and it is a story form that transcends national and cultural boundaries. Anybody all over the world can understand this line. Because what it is essentially is a success story. Hero starts off wanting something, almost always accomplishes it at the end. Now, when setting up your desire line, keep three things in mind. First of all, you want to make it as specific as possible. The more specific it is, the better. Because the audience needs to be very clear about when the hero accomplishes that goal or fails to accomplish the goal. Second of all, make sure that the desire line extends all the way to the end of the story. If your hero accomplishes his goal halfway through, guess what? You've got to create another desire line. Yeah, that story is over. So you've just created a second story and you've stuck two stories together. That doesn't work. Third, you want to make sure that your hero really wants this goal. This isn't just a matter of, well, it would be nice if I could get it. No, they've got to be obsessed with getting it. This is another reason why Desire Line is such an important step because it not only provides the spine of your story, it provides the stakes. And we want the biggest stakes possible. If your hero doesn't really want it, the audience won't care. Now there's a key point to keep in mind. This desire line is not what your hero wants in life. It's what the hero wants in this particular story. Let me give you an example. In Saving Private Ryan, we've got a hero who is 
in World War II. It's a hellish experience, right? You ask most people, what does he want in this story? They would say, he wants to go home, right? <laughs> Makes sense. He wants to go home. He wants to get the hell out of there. But is that the desire line that tracks this story? No, because the, his action steps are not about getting home. What is his true desire line in this story, in this film called Saving Private Ryan? There's a little hint there. He wants to find Ryan. That's right. He has to go get Private Ryan and bring him back. And every action step in that story is focused to that point. And you have to have that discipline in your story as well. Be very clear about your hero's goal and make sure that every action step is taking your hero toward that point. That gives you a strong spine. And there is no better thing to have in your script than that. So when you write your story, I recommend, once you've done your premise work, start with desire. That's the first step to figure out, even though it's the second step in the story. It's the first one to figure out, because everything else comes off of that. The need, the opponent, and so on. Also, when rewriting, start with the desire line. 